I believe Bonnie sent us an email marked urgent. She says, during the heavy rains this past week, Bonnie and her husband were doing a final walkthrough on a home that she was buying in Oldham County. She noticed a stream of water leaking in from a 13-foot ceiling behind them. And before she could even mention it, another leak sprung. And then another water was <laughs> down all around her. The closing was set for this past Friday, but was put on hold until repairs could be made. This is not something you do, Jay, right? This is not an aqualock thing, a, a roof thing. I know that. Well, what should Bonnie and her husband be looking for as they plan on closing later this month and the repairs being made in terms of legal language? Oh, yes. Okay. So they would want to have, or maybe they already do have an agreement that either the, if it's a homeowner's insurance situation or, or a seller paying situation, that the seller is going to hire a qualified contractor, qualified roofer to fix the leaks. And of course, if there's any inside damage, that that will be repaired as well at the seller or their insurance company's expense. And that that will all be done in a workmanlike manner before closing. And then of course, at closing, they probably need uh, to state that it's going to survive the closing in case any additional leaks related to this, not, not something that happens 10 years from now, you know, when the roof is going bad, but something related to this issue that the roofer could point to, this is another related issue that wasn't uh, repaired. But for a short amount of time, this survives the closing. Uh, they might even want to escrow a little bit of money uh, in case another leak springs up in, a, you know, a couple of weeks or so. But if, as long as they have an agreement and uh, it survives the closing, that should, that should help. And am I, am I right by saying that there should be on a letterhead or some sort of a forum or receipt that has the, the person or people who did the repairs license number so that they can track back in case something does go wrong, right? Absolutely. And if they have any kind of warranty, make yeah. sure you get that transferred at closing as well. And then, Jay, quickly, because mold is one of your areas of expertise. So what's yes. the potential for mold in the ceiling and the roof cavity what would you suggest uh, to bonnie on this walking through this probably just a mold uh, just an air sample mold only takes 24 to 48 hours to grow and there's 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 a handful of conditions that you know need to uh, occur for for that to happen uh but an air sample you know from that area um you know it's usually 100 200 bucks and it, it answers all the questions and you can move on you know with peace of mind does Aqualock do mold samples? Yes, sir. I oh. do them. Yep. 